usually I just get the urge to just be creative. I just think about uh, the history of hip hop. I think about their contributions, the artists that they've worked with, the labels that they've been on, um, beefs that they've had. Anything that's had to do with the artists throughout their career, um, something that represent, represents their legacy. Like I did a piece on Aaliyah, um, um, a lot of people felt that it was somewhat controversial because I happened to put a picture of R. Kelly in there. Um, people wish that I would have kept that piece that that picture of him out but I felt that you couldn't think about Aaliyah as an artist without thinking about R. Kelly you couldn't think about her legacy without thinking about the um, the impact that he had on her as an artist I'll start going through my magazines and I'll start thinking about uh, usually people that I feel that haven't been recognized that I feel need to be recognized like for instance today I did um, uh, Jermaine Dupri you can't, you can't talk about hip hop and talk about the Southern region without talking about Jermaine Dupri and the So So Deaf movement and label. I felt that Jermaine Dupri does not get the credit that he deserves. I saw a quote that he had wrote and it was basically, you know, about how everybody talks about the Down South movement and, you know, uh, uh, all the Down South music, Southern music and how people do not look at So So Deaf and the impact that it's made in the industry. Um, so uh, I really was kind of like, a, I don't know, I take it by that. So I wanted to do something that really uh, kind of gave a tribute to him and gave a tribute to uh, his impact, the artist that he came, uh, that he's bought into hip hop. I've done pieces on Barack Obama, done a piece on Michael Jackson, but I also felt that they were part of the hip hop community as well. There's a lot of different female artists that I would like to do. There's a lot of different um, guys that I would like to do. There's um, some rappers on that have passed away that I like to do. I like to do a tribute to Guru, a tribute to uh, Nate Dogg. Um, so there's a lot of different artists, and that's what I'm saying. Like the collection is constantly growing and growing because there's so many artists that I haven't done. There's so many artists that are out there. There's so many artists that have made an impact not only into hip hop but made an impact in my life. And I love to be able to utilize my hands and be able to create beautiful uh, pieces. And um, and because um. It's not only something that I, I'm, I'm not doing for other people, but because I, I love to be able to just do this medium of art, I think that I'll definitely have uh, plenty of time, if not a lifetime, to continue to make this work. I'm hoping.